Hello, beautiful. I got a channeled message. Your soul wants you to be lifted up, expanded, activated right now. Remain calm. You are safe and being watched over and protected by the highest light. This has always been your destiny. In other words, you are meant for this. Go make magic. So this came in in the middle of the night and I barely slept. Last night, I barely slept the night before, waking up uh, hours earlier than normal, going to bed hours early, or later <clears throat> than normal, basically just living on this like tiny window of sleep, which is very unusual for me. And yet somehow, <laughs> somehow I still feel the shift, the grace that we just stepped into. In other words, I'm not, I don't feel burdened by my lack of sleep. I feel uplifted somehow. Even though I'm a little tired, I feel actually buoyant in a way that doesn't make any logical sense. And even as I say this, I'm not exactly sure what the aim of this is because spirit is speaking through me. One, one fucking seven. Thank you, spirit. Oh, it's a very sacred number for me. This is a powerful time, is all I'm trying to say. If you're waking up at odd hours, if you're going to sleep at odd hours, if you're downloading information, new information that you've never downloaded or in new ways, it's because you're being activated. Wow, I just had a powerful vision just now of somebody ele like elevating in the air. It looked like a spirit body, like you and all of these divine beings surrounding it and like moving it and kind of clearing it and basically just focusing all of their loving energy and attention on you, on your healing and purging right now. Because we are about to step through a massive portal, you guys. I can't even explain this because it doesn't make it, it's not a logical thing. Spirit is telling me this, I feel it, I've been channeling it, it's happening. We're stepping through a portal, 222, two, two, and we're heading into a whole new territory. Whatever has been the case for you personally, it's about to get flipped around. This is a time of great unrest. It's interesting, I didn't know I was gonna say that, and I channeled a message many months ago about that. And here we are, we're in it, but I don't necessarily feel like this is a bad thing for, for a lot of us, in my collective especially. This is about the scales balancing and for the people that have been in high places that have been sneaky and manipulative and not necessarily coming from a genuine authentic place those people are being removed and you are being put in their place people like you people with a good heart people with uh, genuine intentions people who are mindful and intentional and ultimately have you know everybody's best interest at heart so if you're being challenged right now oh thank you spirit it's only because you're supposed to release everything that's holding you back and if you're being pushed and poked and prodded to become emotional or upset it's only because your guides need you to release all of that shit that you're holding on to get angry get upset cry purge laugh you know maniacally like let it out in a safe and responsible manner so that you can step into this new year refreshed, replenished. I just saw somebody like, you know, just fuck, like this free, you know, easy energy, this feeling of like buoyancy and movement where previously there was nothing but stagnation and heaviness. And if you have not been feeling this past week, if you're watching this when I post it on um, the 8th of December, this past week has been heavy for a lot of us. And it's because we've been releasing that, those emotions, we've been releasing our uh, ancestral trauma, the trauma of the collective, uh, the trauma of this past year, of the amazing shedding that most of us have been doing, this incredible ego death, some of, for some of us, this is, you know, many times around. Um, We've been going through this and we just get more and more, you know, surrendered, more and more graceful. It's like we can't really look back and say that it hasn't changed us for the better. We know that it has. 
So let's stop resisting the process now. I know you're tired. Fuck, I'm tired too. Trust me. But I also know that we're on the precipice <clears throat> of something beautiful and new. And if we walk out there and look at it from the perspective of the past, we're going to shit all over it, for lack of a better way to put it. Walk out there. And I did this in one of my videos a long time ago. And clean that glass until it's squeaky and then look at what is coming I guarantee you're gonna see it so differently that does not mean to stop listening to your intuition that does not mean to just say yes to the next thing that walks in the door be mindful be intentional ask yourself what you want in each moment don't settle for less than you deserve don't settle for anything that you know isn't right for you just because you want something because that's gonna fill your cup and take space up from something that might actually be for you. Spirit's watching you. If your cup is full, they're gonna be like, okay. I just heard you're about to level up massively. You're gonna be shedding pretty much any new energy that comes in because you're, gonna, you're not gonna be aligned with it in a couple weeks. So just don't get too attached to anything right now. All right? You're amazing. You're beautiful. Fucking love you. You're not alone. If you wanna join us on Patreon or Join me for a private reading or some mentorship. I'll put that information in the description box. But in the meantime, I love you and I'll see you.